Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Decades Challenge. Today, little Rosalyn or Roseline, however you want to say her name, we're going to call her Rosalyn. <laughs> she is aging up into an infant, and it is not officially the 1900s yet, but it will be the 1900s in this episode, which is why I've gone ahead, and if you watched the previous two episodes in the uh, Decades Challenge playlist, you'll notice that we have a speed build for our brand new house, and everybody got in a uh, 1900s makeover as well so that's really exciting so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be aging up baby Roslyn into an infant and then the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to go play with Annabelle because Annabelle should be in her third trimester um, today which is going to be really exciting. So we are getting ready to start on generation three. So the first thing we're going to do, um, actually, the first thing I want to do is I want to give you guys a little bit of a house tour here really quick. So let me put all the walls up and I'm going to change uh, to a Sims 3 camera view here just so it's a little bit easier. This is the new Danforth Homestead. Now, I am not a builder, um, but I am pretty proud of the way this house turned out. I like it. I think it's cute. I don't mind it. Um, and then if we go, it's all one story. So if we come in uh, the front door here, this is just um, the, obviously just the, I don't know. I don't know what you call this, like a, a foyer maybe. <laughs> um, and then obviously this is the kitchen, little dining area. We have a living room area. I love the living room. I think it's so cute. Um, and then we have the big kids bedroom. We have a bathroom here toddlers and infants will be in here for right now this room is empty i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it yet i'm thinking maybe this will be adriel's room for him and his family when they um start having kids and stuff um because eventually um he is going to get married and start having children of his own so um that's going to be very exciting and i think the way that i'm going to play this is i'm going to have um adriel rent this room almost um like off his parents um and like the kitchen and living room and everything will be shared space maybe i think the kids bedrooms maybe just adriel's bedroom and then just like mom and dad's bedroom will be kind of off limits if that makes sense um that way we can have as many sims in the household as possible um so that's I think that's how I'm going to play that. But we're not quite there yet. So no worries there. Um, and then these two rooms. I think I'm going to turn this into a bathroom um, because I don't like that they have to walk all the way across the house to use the bathroom. Um, I think I'm going to turn this into a bathroom and then this into like a study area. Maybe I don't know. I haven't decided. So anyway. Uh, yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and age up baby Roslyn oh no Florence is really not feeling good she's been really nauseous um, but it hasn't come up and said that she's pregnant so I don't know I don't know if she's pregnant or not she could just have an illness all right we're gonna randomize this and she's wiggly oh she's a blonde too Yay! We got another blonde baby. Okay, let's go. Oh, I need to turn on my cheats. Hang on. Okay, now that we have all my cheats turned on, let's go into create a sim and give this little baby her makeover. She's beautiful. I love her hair. I'm going to keep her hair exactly the way it is, but look at those big blue eyes. Oh my God goodness i'm obsessed she's adorable look at little roslyn oh my goodness you guys she is so cute so the first thing we need to do is we need to roll our d20 die for roslyn and she rolled a nine she is an infant oh no no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm so upset. Darn it. Roslyn! That's really unfortunate, y'all. That is really unfortunate. Okay. 
Um, I think we have failed to add a couple of the kids. No, we have Eleonora and Nicolette. Eleonora, Nicolette. We just didn't add Roslyn for some reason. Yeah, we didn't add Roslyn for some reason. Okay. All right. Um, so Roslyn passed. We're going to say she passed from an illness. We're good with our pregnancy attempts. Our time tracker is good. We don't need to add anything for Roslyn. We need to have these guys come and start kind of taking care of this garden. Can you water with your tears, please? Spray for bugs. Let's have you weed. Charles, let's have you come out and just start on the animal sheds because I think that's going to be really helpful. Um, you had a nightmare. You're fine. You'll be fine. Um, no, no, no. We're not ordering a delivery. I just want you to get some leftovers. And then you can come and start knitting some more socks because she has reached knitting level four, I think. Vera and Adriel have school soon, so I'm hoping Adriel can get everything done in the garden. Look at how cute Vera's little outfit is. I freaking can't, you guys. She's adorable. Oh, she's so cute. I love her hair. I love I and normally I don't like this hair, but I love it on her. I think it looks so cute. I know everybody's really upset right now, so <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to see the cuteness in them, but <laughs> you're stinky. Do you need me to change your diaper? <laughs> Once Florence gets her diaper changed, I think we are going to head over uh, to Annabelle and Hugo's house. Uh, and make sure that everything is all set with them for when they have their baby. Okay, Hugo's late for school. <laughs> so he needs to be going to school. But Annabelle is not going to school. She is in her third trimester. And I think we're going to have Annabelle come downstairs. And we're just going to have her continue working on that hedgehog onesie. Now you'll notice that Annabelle does not have a big old pregnant belly. That's because she is still technically a teenager in the game because they got married very young back then. Annabelle has officially uh, dropped out of high school. Um, so she is, you know, she's no longer going to be required to go to school or anything like that. She's like, Hugo, honey, you don't have to cook. I can take care of it. And he's like, okay, well, I'm just going to go outside and play some chess then. She's like, I'll finish this. Don't worry about it. Oh, looks like she's going to go ahead and just eat that. <laughs> and then we'll just have her serve up some dinner <laughs> for her and uh, for Hugo. Let's just do... Oh, that was the one thing that I wanted to buy for them. I wanted to buy them... I have a cookbook mod that I wanted them to use. I just have to find the cookbook. There it is. I found the cookbook. Yay. Okay. While I was perusing around in some of my custom content, I found this adorable little bear that I just have to put in the baby's room because, oh my freaking goodness, how cute. I think you guys noticed it as much in the makeover video as I did, but Annabelle is so beautiful and she reminds me so much of her mom. I mean, all of the kids are very, very cute, but Annabelle is just, this girl is on another level of beautiful and I'm trying to get a good like close up of her face just so you guys can see how beautiful this girl actually is, but like... She's gorgeous. I look at her. Oh, she's amazing. I'm just obsessed with her. Okay, she's going to go ahead and put this chili away. And she's going to come out and, you know, just let Hugo know. Oh, look, she's coming out to let him know. She's like, hey, I finished the chili. It's ready whenever you are. He's like, okay, thanks, honey. So she's going to come in and she's going to she's going to resume working on her knitting project. She finished 
another onesie. So she finished uh, this one, the little green hedgehog onesie. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh, and the other thing, um, because we are still uh, playing with the simple living lot traits, um, which I need to add to this lot. Um, so because we're playing with simple living, um, one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of make a little bit of a a change, I guess, to the rules only because um, I feel like if we're going to be playing with simple living, I think we need to allow ourselves the convenience of the um, the stand mixer. Um, maybe not the pizza oven, but the stand mixer for sure. Um, because you need it in order to make bread and stuff like that, which they would have made by hand back then. Um, but because there's no mod that I have been able to find um, that allows you to make prepped dough by hand um, or prepped batter by hand, then uh, we need this, we need that to be able to, um, to be able to make cake for birthdays um, and make bread and things like that. So I think we're going to allow ourselves that convenience and in, in now that it's Saturday, we are officially in the 1900s. Um, so we're going to we're going to go ahead and allow ourselves that convenience, I think, just to uh, make it a little easier for us to um, to make bread and to make cakes and stuff like that. So in case y'all didn't see the uh, makeover video, this is Annabelle's everyday outfit. Maybe if she would stand up, she's going to try to calm herself down a little bit. <laughs> But this is her everyday outfit. I love it. I think it's super cute. And I love these very simple little black heels. I think they look very nice and very classy with her little outfit. This is so cute. They're just sitting here reading and knitting. Oh my gosh. How cute are they? Annabelle, I need you to pop this baby out. Like, we're ready, girlfriend. Let's go. So they say that woohoo can induce labor. So maybe if maybe if she messes around with Hugo, maybe she'll go into labor. Oh my gosh, she needs to pee. Oh my goodness. Ha ha! It worked. <laughs> Yay, she's gone into labor. Oh no, she beat her pants. <laughs> well, I didn't get there fast enough. That's okay. <gasps> She's having the baby. She's having the baby. Here we go. <gasps> it's a boy. It's a boy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go look at some of the baby name suggestions. Okay. I love the name Henry. I think it's so nice. I'm going to go with Henry. Thank you so much to... Inko for your name suggestion. I think we are going to go with Henry. Little Henry Valeria. Oh my goodness. Let me see that baby. Ah, oh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness. Hi, Henry. Oh, he's so cute. Yay, Henry! Our first baby of Generation 3! Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is the scary part, guys. <laughs> this is the scary part. I almost spelled Annabelle's name wrong. And he was born in the year 1900. Okay. We're going to roll for baby first and then for Annabelle. Baby first. Baby rolled an 11. And Annabelle rolled a 16. Now, for the death rolls, we are going to take away the first number of each of these um, to decrease our death percentage. 
both of them are safe. I think. Hang on. 16, Annabelle rolled. Uh, yes, she's safe. Um, so we're going to take away the first number. So both of them are safe, thank goodness. But we're going to take away the first number for all of these. And we're decreasing our death percentage. And that's just because it's the 1900s. We're going to say technology has gotten a little bit better. Um, and mothers and babies are dying far less often. These percentages are no longer correct. We're just going to leave that out of there. And we are going to keep this time frame. All the, we're going to keep this um, percentage all the way up through 1950. Uh, no, let's do 1925. We're going we're gonna to play this way for 25 years. Um, and then we'll take away one more number. Once we're down to two numbers um, in each, then we'll start taking away another number. Um, but if you like for the next time when we hit newborn and we take away the eight, um, we're going to leave it at 15 and 19 um, until all of the other ones also have just two. And we need to add Henry to our family tree. I'm so excited. So his name is Henry and we're going to say he was born. I don't know. The 15th of June in 1900. He is a male. And we're going to add a photo for Henry. There he is, little Henry. Oh my gosh. Look. Yay, Gen 3. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm so happy that he and Annabelle both lived. That was so nerve wracking. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what, let's take a look at our rules now for the 1900s. So we've removed our off the grid lot tra uh, challenge. Um, indoor plumbing is allowed. However, still no, still only bathtubs, no showers. We have that. We have upholstery. We have wallpaper. Uh, we have the phonograph. Uh, male sims are permitted in the following careers. Business, management, criminal, boss, doctor, education, either branch, engineer, mechanical, entertainer, musician, freelance writer, gardener, either branch, interior decorator, law, either branch, military, officer, politics, politician, scientist, writing. Married female sims are not permitted to work. Widowed or divorced female sims are permitted to make money through freelancing, writing, gardening, painting, or woodworking. The only careers they may join are education, entertainer, and interior decorator, part-time. Men can be a fisherman or manual laborer. Women can be a babysitter or manual laborer. Teens and elderly cannot have part-time work. Okay. Our sims can go on vacation, um, although that would have been very rare back then I think uh, we are not going to need a cow plant because we're just going to be using a d20 die so we have 10 years before world war one 10 years before world war one so whew, I'm a little nervous but I'm feeling okay I, I think we're gonna be all right now that Annabelle and Hugo have had their baby, um, we are going to make another pregnancy attempt. All right. We are leaving the Valerial family right where they are uh, for today. We'll be back with them on Monday, I believe it is, um, to age up little Henry. So I wanted to show you guys the little outfit that we have Florence in. How cute is this? Florence, can you stand up? Can you stand up and just give us a look? Oh, she's so beautiful. Look at her. Florence, you're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Okay. Um, the thing is, it's now Saturday. I don't think Florence is pregnant. I think if she was pregnant, we would know by now. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to go try for a pregnancy with Charles again. Um, because 
we need some more babies. We've had a lot of girls, a lot of girls. And I'm really crossing my fingers for some more boys because yeah, this is just, it's going to be, it's going to be rough. The other thing that I wanted to do, I needed to purchase um, no, you're not unflirty. Oh my gosh. We need the woodworking table. I had it um uh, before, but then, you know, we changed house and everything. We're gonna have the woodworking table just here out front, I think. Pop right there. Um because Adriel needs to be working on his woodworking skill because he can't he can't get like involved or like he can't get married until he has um i think it was level level 10 gardening and level five handiness or level was it level five handiness and level five gardening we're not going to prom um Maybe that's what it was. It was level five on each. Let me write this down. Let me write this down because I'm going to forget. Now I have it written down so I won't forget because I feel like I've changed it 40 times and I keep forgetting <laughs> like what it is they're actually supposed to be doing. I love Charles's new outfit. I'm just obsessed. Oh, no. He's itchy. Great. Okay, let's have you just get some leftovers and then let's have you, can you have a quick meal? Is that a thing? No, because we have simple living on. Shoot. Okay. Look at the girls sitting here knitting together. So cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, she's almost at knitting level five, which is great for her being a child. Like that's amazing. Um, I think we are going to go ahead and end this episode here. Look at all these girls. Oh my gosh. I just love them all so much. Okay. We're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. Thank you for all the baby name suggestions. I'm so glad that we got to use a boy name instead of a girl name for Annabelle's baby. I'm so excited. So you guys will have to leave some more baby name suggestions down in the comments uh, for Florence's upcoming baby, assuming she is pregnant. I mean, we don't have the confirmation yet, but I th I'm pretty sure with the way that her needs are deteriorating. I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that she's pregnant. So we're gonna, we're gonna say that we're pretty, pretty positive. Oh no. Charles is having a midlife crisis. What is going on? <laughs> Charles, you'll be okay. Okay. You'll be all right. Tend to garden 30 times, start a mur mural, shape a bonsai tree five times, and try cross-stitching. I mean, yeah, we, can, we can't We can actually have you try cross-stitching because we don't have the money. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, I really am going to end it here. Thank you guys so much. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all next time. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.